What is happening, ladies and gentlemen? Cowboy here, and welcome to our randomizer run from Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. So, big shout out to the modding community because after getting to play randomized Dark Souls 1, you know, the, the idea of doing it with Dark Souls 2 or in the future Dark Souls 3, I was like, man, that would be awesome. But at the end of the day, this is up to just, it's, you know, random individuals who were like, I know how to code. I'm going to make this happen. So, huge, huge thank you to those people because I don't have the technical expertise to do shit like this. But I'm really excited to play this. Uh, just for a little background here, I know obviously uh, a lot of the audience that I have now, a lot of you guys watching right now, probably came to me via Dark Souls 3. And even though a lot of people are like, oh, Cowboy's Dark Souls Master, I actually like didn't even really play Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 2 was really what I got into the franchise with. Like, I played Dark Souls 1, but I, I hated it way back in the day. And Dark Souls 2 is really what drew me into the franchise, and I did just so many, so many characters on Dark Souls 2. All the different build videos made a PvP build that was, like, universally hated by the entire community because of how broken and cheap it was. Um, so yeah, either way, it's gonna be a really fun experience, I think just because I have very fond memories of Dark Souls 2. So, anyway, let's jump into this. It's been a while since I've played. I don't think I've played this since the, uh, Perhaps the Hex character run I did. Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten land. place where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. Man, the Dark Souls 2 opening feels so, like, disjointed from the other ones. Like, Dark Souls 1, obviously, the huge backstory with Gwyn and all that. Dark Souls 3, the undead champion, and Dark Souls 2, on the other hand, it just, it feels like you're some random dude that just, like, wanders in and just drops into Dranglick. Like a moth drawn to a flame, 
Your wings will burn in anguish. Time after time. For that is your fate. The fate of the cursed. Say this looks pretty good on PC. This is actually my first time playing um, not just Scholar, but just Dark Souls 2 in general on PC. But I was always a I was a console boy. Alright, let's see what we got here. First loot of the game. Smooth and silky times three. Okay, not, not bad, not bad. Not messing with the troll right now. <laughs> what seems to be the ruckus? Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes. You'll become one of them. Hollows prey upon men, feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> I never did like these ladies. What is your name? One and only. <laughs> At least you know your own name. Here's your reward for sharing. It's a human effigy. Take a closer look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? an effigy of you. So, let's see. Um, I'm thinking I go drive just because I don't know, you know what I'm going to get. I may be a caster, I may not. Um, so starting to drive is probably going to be the best thing. Uh, life ring, effigy. Healing wares is always nice. Oh, bonfire is that. Uh, um, couple things I could trade that for. I wonder if the loot tables trading petrified something would reroll, but probably not. Let's just go for healing wares. Healing wares is always uh, a safe bet. Um, how do I? Dude, I'm gonna be super buffed out. Bodies look so unproportionate in this game, it's kind of... Beefy boy. Beefy boy. Ripped out beefy boy. 
God, some of these faces are just brutal. Uh, what's some, some good hair? What's some, what I want to do here? Yeah, we'll do this one. Make him, uh, make him look like an anime character. This deep. I don't even know what color I want. Let's just let's keep it. Oh, what did I do with my randomizer for Dark Souls 1? I don't remember how I made him look. You know, we'll just, we'll basically keep default. It's not like you ever look at the dude anyway. But let's give him a beard. For good measure. That beard. This is basically me. But if I had long, luxurious hair. And I actually worked out. Because <laughs> we all know how my physique shirt sure doesn't look like that. <laughs> sure, this is my true self. People come here for the same reason, to break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm, doesn't stand a chance. Ladies are such biddies. Well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're skipping the rest of that. Give Beefy Boy a present. They're like, oh, you're hollow. You're just like the rest. No chance. He's gonna die. <laughs> what we got? Titanite chunk? Okay, okay. Let's get our weapons upgraded extra early. loots to pick up. For those curious, there's, um, there is no, uh, whereas, like, with, with the Dark Souls 1 randomizer, you could basically get a seed, and you could, there was, like, a cheat sheet that was populated, uh, but this one, there's not, so... I have no idea at all what kind of loot we're going to be finding if I get lost. It's uh, basically tough shit because there's no cheat sheet, so if I get lost, I'll have to just literally wander around. And I'm thinking, I, don't, I could have sworn there was like a soul collectible somewhere in this area. Maybe it was, maybe it was that way. Because I don't think the start had any soul collectibles. Is there a dagger you could get? I think there was a dagger you could get off these guys. I feel like I need something, you know. Go off that. Got no weapon right now. If I'm gonna even be able to touch giant sand, I need something. at me. Yo, how am I hitting harder with my fist than this dude is with this sh shitty broken sword? You suck, bro. That's the way I came in. There we go. There we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, let me make sure. Okay, it's the left stick. And oopa! Large tight knight three. I will gladly take that. Oh, these ledges. These ledges are like butthole puckering. Throw there a chunk and three large tight knight. Like, let's go, boy. We are gonna be. First weapon I find, it's like, oh yeah, this is something good that I could use. We are gonna be leveling up. Oh, 
I'll never understand how so many people die here. I don't know, maybe these are just all pre-added, but there's like a ton of them. And it's all people dying from like... Uh, oh, okay. I see what's going on. It's people using the uh, Sir Allen sword. Spinning Senpuku. I was like, I'm thinking, I'm like, how do people die here? This makes no sense. I guess that answers that question. What's the trap? Maybe. Seldora so robe and bellkeeper seal. If I remember, that doesn't actually do anything aside from. Yeah, let me be a bellboy. Playing butterfly. Actually, isn't the Seldora so robe? Yeah, this is the give me extra souls robe. Let me put that on. I'm all about putting on uh, bear armor, but I can't pass up on extra free souls. Got to get all the goodies that Majula has for me. You give me a ring, don't you? <laughs> you. I see. If you ever require him, anytime. I will. locked up for now. These loots, poison throwing knives, okay. Let me join, I'm not sure if I'll actually get the ring. Winkling tight knife, god. Could be an interesting randomizer run in and of itself. He's a parry shield. Do you feel it suits me? It will go. Please protect me, Senpai. You know. Your splendid life. Drop down another thingy here. 
Hevels. Hevels Armor. Want to be the big beefiest boy around? Fucking Hevels. I almost feel like obligated to use it since I just got it. God, that roll. Even though that's technically like a mid roll, like the distance is non existent. Oh, 20 strength. Okay, so it's, it's literally pointless in me using that. Like a spicy lady. Let's use this. Extra souls for now. That's right, I gotta talk to the firekeeper. I'm like, why can't I spend my souls? I'm at the bonfire, let me do it. Hey, lady, lady. Yeah, give me that Estus flask. up and uh, we'll wrap this one up basically at like our next bonfire so far it's been a very uh, very kind of split randomization I'm getting getting lots of uh, lots of upgrade stuff which is good upgrade stuff early can lead to a pretty OP run and um, I'm getting armors I'm getting armors for days I mean I got Havels. I'll probably end up using Pharaohs just because it's you know, high fashion, but uh, early on at least, I used to sell the war rope to help boost things, get some souls. Radiant Life Gem. Hollow Infantry Gloves. Garbage. Oh boy. Oh boy, I don't want to fight you, beefy boy. I need, like, I need something. There's no way I can fight those guys with bare fists. Knight's Halberd? Let's go! What is up with their delay? Stop that. Did she give me... She gave me a flask, right? Yeah, she did. What's up, boy? What you know about my parry skills, huh? What you know about it? What you know about it? Oh god, the Estus is so slow. It's been so long. Oh, I just booped him. He was like, wah! -wah! Uh, backhand, nose boop. 1820. Mm, I'm not using that anytime soon. Fifty-five. It, 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 I do do more damage than uh, than being barehanded, at least. But let's see just how poor my damage is with it, just for curiosity's sake. Oh, they they didn't respawn with the bonfire. Oh, I said lit it. I didn't rest. That's why. There's some other loops I want real fast anyway. 
Oh lord, yeah, no, never mind. Take it off, take it off, take it off. That's, that like hurts to look at. usually start with just like a club like did I overlook a loot that I was supposed to get and just I'm making this harder on myself than it needs to be without realizing it is that what's happening here Oh god. I mean, I just hit the right trigger to swap things like I'm in Neo. This is gonna be a spicy run. Let's go. Let's go. This is like a low-end weapon I can use. Brave Warden Bottoms. Game. Come on. I'm not asking for much here. Just a weapon. You give me Havel's armor, but you won't give me a basic weapon. That's a little balanced, don't you think, game? Fished him right in his bum. Fire Drake Stone. I'm getting all kinds of good shit, and I need one weapon. Solve the nameless. Ugh. Level up. But even then, I can't. There's no way I'll be able to get enough points to use up. Uh, use the halberd. Oh, man. I don't even want to go up here. This is bad news. Night. Old Mundane, <laughs> please give me a weapon. Jar Lloyd Shield. Oh my god, I am going to die. I'm so dead. Green Blossoms. Oh, please go away. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> well... I think that was kind of fated to happen. But anyway, uh, we're gonna wrap this first episode up here. Um...
So far, it's looking like this is going to be a, a bit of a struggle, at least until I get something to fight back with aside from my fists. So either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of the Randomizer run. Obviously, I expect this series to be uh, even longer than the Dark Souls 1 randomizer because we have three full DLCs to go through. So either way, make sure to stay tuned and we will catch you guys with another episode a little bit later today.